This excerpt is from Affairs Valentino, chapter 13, page 319. It was about this same time that Beltram Massis returned to Seville, and Rudy began dating not only Vilma Banki, but Polish movie siren, Pola Negri. It was no secret around Hollywood that Pola Negri had designs on Rudolph Valentino. After several attempts to arrange an introduction, she finally met him at a costume party hosted by their mutual friend, actress Marion Davies. That night, Pola wore a costume from her starring role in Catherine the Great, and Rudy, arriving with his date Vilma Banki, was decked out in the same Toreador suit of lights he wore in Blood and Sand. A few weeks after this initial meeting, Pola and Rudy met once again, this time on the dance floor of the Biltmore Hotel. They returned to her home where they spent the night together. From that night on, Pola became a serious contender for Rudy's attention. But despite Pola's attempts to publicly legitimize her relationship with Rudolph Valentino, behind the scenes, they were on less solid ground. Although Pola Negri hoped to become Mrs. Rudolph Valentino number three, when she began dating Rudy, he was still married to Natasha. George knew Rudy had no intentions of committing to a serious relationship with any one woman at that point in his life. He formed this opinion after observing Rudy's concurrent affairs with Pola Negri and actress May Murray. George was not only eyewitness to Rudy's volatile relationship with Pola Negri, but to a few of his intimate exchanges with May Murray. One of these occasions took place on a Friday night as George and Rudy left an American Legion boxing match where they met May Murray in the parking lot. May Murray was still married to director Robert Leonard at the time, but their marriage was on the rocks. That night in the American Legion parking lot, Rudy greeted May by wrapping his arms around her in a passionate embrace. While George resigned himself to the awkward moment, Rudy and May engaged in a heated and prolonged kiss. They became so physically engrossed in each other they forgot about George, slipped into Rudy's car and drove off. George was left standing alone in the parking lot wondering just how he would get home. Despite Rudy's continuing love affair with May Murray, the tenacious Pola Negri spent many nights sharing Rudy's bed at Falcon Lair. It was not long before she packed a bag of her personal belongings, including several negligees, and hung them neatly in his master bedroom closet. George never said a word to Rudy about Pola's part-time residency at Falcon Lair, but her increasing presence about the house infuriated Lou Mahoney. His bitter contempt directed at George was soon extended to Rudy's Polish mistress, Pola Negri. Lou was not comfortable with the many changes in the post-Natasha household and still believed Mrs. Valentino would soon return home, reconcile with her husband, and restore order.